So you click play on this video, that leads me to believe that you're looking for ways to drink more water. You just wanna get more water in your life. Maybe you're trying to regulate your appetite. Maybe you're trying to lose a few pounds. Or you just wanna maintain a healthy lifestyle. And drinking more water plays a huge role in all of that. So we have that in common. Welcome to the Gadget Inspector channel where we're into all kinds of drones and all kinds of gadgets. If you're into that kind of stuff, you're in the right place, my friend. Please consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to click that bell. That way you'll know when I upload new videos. Well, today I wanna show you a smart bottle called the Hydrate Spark 3. And it's what I use to drink more water. It reminds me to drink more water and it kind of makes it a game for me. And like I said, I'm, I'm into gadgets, so naturally I would use something like this. And it comes with a nice app that helps you track your water intake and set goals and all of that. So I'm gonna show you all that stuff today. So without further ado, let's get on into it. Okay, so let's take a look at the bottle here. So it has kind of a rubbery feel to it, uh, whatever material this is. Uh, so you can really get a really good grip of it. Uh, I've had my bottle for about three months now and I have dropped it uh, from about waist height onto concrete, but it didn't uh, affect the inner components at all. It is BPA free. Uh, you'll see that on the bottom here. It is BPA free and it has a capacity of 20 ounces. And right here, uh, if you can see that little notch there, that is the fill line. So that lets you know where to stop when filling the bottle. Okay, now to insert the battery, what you're gonna do is unscrew this little hatch down on the bottom here just like so and that's where the battery goes and you just have to take note of where the negative and the positive um, directions are and um, you just throw it in there now battery life is pretty darn good with this battery like i said i've had it for about three months and i just replaced the battery like last week i just replaced it that's pretty good that's pretty good battery life now when you go to wash the bottle, you're gonna need to remove the sensor stick. And all you do is just unscrew the bottom, just like this, and there you go. It comes right out. Uh, there is a rubber seal here uh, that keeps your liquid locked in, and when you screw it down, it stays nice and tight and sealed. But when you wash the bottle, you're gonna wanna take this out first, right? and leave that to the side. You do not want to submerge that in water. Okay, even though it's in water, you don't wanna do that, trust me. So this is the part that you're gonna to wanna to wash. Um, I wouldn't put this in a dishwasher or anything like that either. Hand wash the bottle, uh, take the top off. And I'm just careful when I, when I wash this um, and I haven't had a problem so far. Now the other important thing is you never wanna put anything other than water in the bottle. No pop, no juice, nothing like that. Just straight water, right? And that's the whole point of this, right? Is to drink more water to the tur, right? <laughs> okay, now that the battery is installed, you need to download the Hydrate Spark Smart Bottle app and get your bottle connected so you can start drinking all that water. <laughs> It connects via Bluetooth, by the way. Now the app will walk you through setup step by step. It's gonna ask you for your height, your weight, your sex, birthday, and activity level. And it uses that information to automatically set your daily water goals. And we'll see that in a second. Just click on the add bottle icon here and just walk through those steps. It's really, really simple. So I won't bore you by showing you all of that here. Plus mine is already set up. <laughs> Okay, before we move on and take a quick breeze through the app, I wanna give you some of the benefits of drinking adequate amounts of water every day. Now you've probably heard the rule of thumb to drink eight eight ounce glasses of water every day. That's 64 ounces of water, which is half a gallon. That's actually a good rule of thumb to follow, but based on your body composition and activity level, you may need more or less 
water than that every day. Now I've also seen that you should drink between half an ounce to an ounce of water for every pound you weigh. So if you weigh 100 pounds, you should drink between 50 to 100 ounces of water. The Hydrate Spark app uses all of the information I mentioned earlier to determine how much water you should be drinking every day. So it kind of has its own method. All right, so here's some of the benefits of drinking more water. Okay, so the Mayo Clinic says adequate water consumption helps to flush your body of waste through urine, perspiration, and bowel movements. Keep it moving, y'all. <laughs> All important, don't you think? It moderates body temperature, lubricates and cushions your joints. Uh, it's gonna improve your skin and brain function. And it also helps to suppress your appetite. And that's probably what most people are looking to do. A lot of times when we're actually dehydrated or just thirsty, uh, we're not really hungry. But a lot of times what we do is we'll go ahead and eat something or snack on something when we really should be drinking and hydrating. That's where water comes in. All right, let's go ahead and take a breeze through this app now. Okay, so here's the main landing page that shows you your goal and how many ounces of water you've downed so far. It also gives you stats down here uh, like percentage, of goal completed, how many more bottles you need to drink, and how many days in a row uh, you've met your goal. Yeah, I have some drinking to do, all right? <laughs> you can also add water manually if you need to, right here, see that? And that's for keeping track of when you drink water uh, outside of the bottle. So if you're drinking bottled water or water from tap or something like that, and you're not using the bottle, you can still keep track of your water intake. So that's really cool. You can quickly check your progress by day or uh, by month um, by clicking on the history. So you can see here uh, my progress for the day, 61% of my goal. You can kind of see when I started drinking water, looks like at about 7 a.m. Uh, things kind of picked up later in the evening here. <laughs> and then month-wise, you can kind of see how you're doing. So that's cool, right? If you have friends that also have a spark bottle, you can add them and you can each keep track of how each other is doing. So that might add some uh, motivation for each of you. Now the bottles tab is where you can make the bottle glow on command, which I'm not real sure why you would do it after trying it out once or twice, uh, but you can do it, just push glow. Now click on more and you can actually change the bottle name. You can recalibrate the sensor, which we'll talk about in a second. You can remove the bottle from the app or add a bottle. You can do all that from here. And this is where you add the bottle. I showed you that before, right? Now in the settings tab, this is where you can change your water goal. Um, you can change it from manual to recommend it. Looks like I changed it to manual for some reason. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> But you can change it from what the app recommends to something you set manually. Um, you see your personal parameters. That's where your height, weight uh, info is. And down here, you can see the apps you can connect to. And you can also change from ounces to milliliters. Okay, now in the reminders, that's where you're gonna wanna set how many times the app will remind you to drink water. And you can see you can set your uh, time frame during the day that you will be actively drinking water. But you can go into the app reminders here and you can set what kind of reminders that you get. You'll get these notifications throughout the day. Sometimes they're funny, sometimes they're motivational and there's quotes. Um, you can turn all of those off or one or more on and off, however you want them. And you can set um, when the reminders will come. Will it always come? or only when you're behind. So it's gonna send you a notification on your phone and I even get them on my Apple Watch uh, and the bottle will glow throughout the day to remind you about your goal. And you can see the options you have with that here. And here is where you can set uh, how and when the bottle will glow. So you can see that here. Now what's also really nice is you can download a complication to your Apple Watch for the Hydrate app and it's gonna show you the percentage of your goal you've completed. Then you can also go in and get a little more information. And you can also add water from your Apple Watch in 12 ounce increments, right from here. So that's really cool. All right, let's talk about accuracy now. So the bottle is actually very accurate. So every time you take a sip, 
place the bottle on a flat surface, it's gonna sync with the app and update. And it's really, really accurate. I did have one time when it was recording more water than I was actually drinking each time I took a sip, but I recalibrated the sensor and I showed you that before and that fixed it. Uh, so I'd say 99% of the time uh, it's spot on. So with all of that jabbering, does this smart bottle help you drink more water? That's the whole point, right? Well, the short answer is yes. But the more frank answer is nothing can replace your own personal motivation and discipline. So if you're not really committed to drinking more water, a smart bottle will not make you committed to drinking more water. You still have to fill the bottle with water and you still have to raise it to your mouth throughout the day, right? <laughs> so if you can do that, you're going to drink more water than you used to, even if you don't hit the goals you set in the app. Um, I think I have about 59 ounces of water that I drank today. That's a lot more than I normally would drink. My goal is 90 ounces, which is kind of a lot. Um, but the whole point of this is to get more water in your life, to be more healthy, right? The other great thing about the bottle in conjunction with the app is you'll see your progress over time. And it may be eye opening to you to see how little water you may actually be drinking, right? I know for me, when I go in and I check and I'm like, dang, I only drank 20 ounces of water today. That's not good. And then that'll clue me in to start knocking back more water. Now, truth be told, water is in coffee, water is in tea, it's in juice, etc. So your true intake or fluid intake is more than what the app records. And 20% of your fluids actually come from food. But the point here is to drink more straight up H2O. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching the video. I hope this was helpful. You know, we just crossed over to the new year. That's uh, usually when folks are doing resolutions and stuff like that and trying to set goals. You don't need a smart bottle to drink more water. Of course not. But if you're into setting goals, you're into tracking your progress and things like this, this is a great way to go about it. This is uh, perfect for me because I kind of geek out on things like this. So. Uh, if you're interested in something like this, check it out. I'll put uh, links in the description box of where you can get pricing and all that kind of stuff. All right. But until next time, be good to somebody. Be good to yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Later.